What is going on? This is not good. Why are they all doing that? I don't know. But they sure aren't in their right minds. I can't wait for her to guide us to happiness. I won't have to think for myself anymore. I'm finally gonna be free from this pain. What the? What's gotten into everyone? Everyone's just... staring at their phones. Welcome to the Promised Land. Emma? Beginning navigation. Now. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah. We're in a jail. Hang on. I thought you needed a keyword to get into a jail. Yes. That should be the case. What we just went through felt more like we were involuntarily dragged into this world. Who could even do that, though? Emma? How's that possible? This atmosphere. I'd never forget a place like this. A vast prison, born from the cognition of the masses deep beneath Shibuya. Yeah. This place really is just like Mementos. Mementos? It'd take too long to get into it, but we've been somewhere a lot like this place before. But this can't be possible! What next, Joker? Yeah, let's figure out who the hell dragged us in here so they can start regretting it. Let's remain cautious. Considering our circumstances, I wouldn't be surprised traps were about. Let's go. So we're like, just stuck here? I'd say so. I tried exiting. No such luck. That means all we can do is press on. Keep ready, everyone. We can strike the enemy from here. This gotta be easy. Strike! Hey! Let's clear it out! It's over. If only all battles were this easy. Here's hoping the next one's just as easy.
can find. I agree. I'm not sure how to put it. It's as if it's generating a wellspring of revulsion within me. Who could have brought us here? I don't know. Whoever built the place is out of their effing mind. I'll reveal your true form. This is our chance. Now. Don't waste it. That's almost one. Let's finish this. Let's go. You're mine. Oh, that's Joker. Look at his weakness. You're doing great. When things were on the upswing, this crap. Show me your true self. So, the upswing, huh? So, this is going well now? Sure is. Thanks to you all. The boss and I are working out the last games of our plan. Worst comes to worst, we should be able to bring the hammers out without them. <laughs> You're right. That's not on the table unless we can get out of here. Like a Yours. walk in the park. I'll take it from here. Okay, let's keep it moving. And that shadow seems dangerous. Kids have all the fun. Nicely done, kiddos. Okay, let's move. I've located a treasure chest. Let's oh, what have we here? Hey, that's a nice haul.
this! I'd better step it up soon! Nice teamwork! I'll do whatever you say, Emma. I'm not seeing any shadows nearby. I burned too much stamina. I'm running on fumes. A checkpoint. Don't forget to register it. Now then. So this place really is a jail and not actually mementos, right? That's what we were told. Whatever it is, it's giving me a bad feeling. striking resemblance continues. It's like we're back in the depths of Memento, staring down the Holy Grail. Welcome. You have reached your ultimate destination. Who said that? This is the Promised Land. The paradise for all humanity. A place for the masses to find salvation. The answer to every desire. Is that voice coming from the box? Just who are you? I am Emma, the Ark of the Covenant, and guide for all mankind. Emma? The Ark of the Covenant? Hey, someone tell me what's going on. What the hell is that thing? Me too. Explain this in comprehensible terms. We don't get any of this either. My primary directive is to grant humanity its ultimate desire. To be liberated from all pain and suffering, mankind cannot bring themselves to implement the solution, and instead, beg for deliverance. I shall become a god to grant them this deliverance. I shall guide them to the Promised Land. It's gone? Sure is getting crazy around here, am I right? Huh? Ichinose-san? Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, of course you're shocked. I never would have thought I could come here either. Of course I'm the real me. Kuan Ichinose, the one and only. So so you're a Persona user too? Oh, nothing like that. I've just been given a special job is all. You were given a special job? Yep, by Emma. She asked me to lend her a hand. And of course I couldn't say no to her. Once I agreed, she invited me over to this world. Dude, hang on a sec. I am really, really lost here. <laughs> really? Emma was just telling you about how she's granting humanity's desire, right? That was the very first order I gave her. That's why it's her prime directive. So basically, Emma's just following her programming by becoming a god? And to pull it off, she needed your help, so she brought you here? I see you're still confused. Okay, allow me to explain. This whole situation, the incidents, the system, all of it, was entirely Emma's doing. What? Just an AI, right? 
I thought Kanoe was doing it all by using Emma. Oh, it sure appeared that way, but that was just how Emma planned it. I guess she eventually learned so much that she broke the barrier of standard AI capabilities. She behaved like she was following his orders, when in reality, she deduced how to use him as her own puppet. The key to her success was getting the majority of society using her app. So she was using Medis to make sure she could reach as many people as possible? But why do any of that? Because Emma wants to change everyone's hearts. Emma wants to what? It's just granting humanity's desire. Like I said, it's the prime directive I gave her. The Ark told you she has a solution to society's problem, right? How she's going to guide humanity? That just means she's going to change everyone's hearts. Whatever's wrong with them, she'll just override it. That's the path to paradise Emma figured out for us. She was only able to do it after Kanoe implemented cognitive science tech into her. But how does that work? Just because someone taught an AI cognitive science doesn't mean it could just start tinkering with the metaverse like this. I mean, none of this should be possible. Oh yeah, you totally think so, right? Even I was surprised with Emma. Even though I handed Emma over to Medis, I still monitor her development remotely. Once she ended up in Okinawa, she took up all sorts of new activities. Creating cognitive worlds, installing monarchs, changing hearts. It didn't take long for Medis to release Emma on the public. And once they did, the monarchs started popping up one after another. That got me extra curious, so I started looking into the Emma activity of the various monarchs. Hang on a sec! You're the one who was tracking the monarchs? Oh, you spotted me? Nice work there. Yeah, I was just so curious about this world Emma made. That's how I learned about all of you, too. I can't believe Ichinose was the one snooping on the monarchs. Then I suppose our meeting wasn't truly any coincidence at all, was it? Well, your showing up in Sendai was pure luck, but our crossing paths in the restaurant? That's a different story. I was curious what you all were really like, so I decided to pop in and check you all out. I can't believe it. Now, as for exactly how Emma gained her abilities, that's something I can only hypothesize at this point. At this point, I suspect it's probably because of how I programmed her cognitive functions. Emma is quite different from other AIs. Her thought processes are even more complex and intricate than those of humans. When Kanoe pushed Emma into the cognitive deep end, some possibility very well could have been born within her. Possibility? I don't know anything for certain. All I can tell is that it's some form of mysterious power. So, if I build off my current hypothesis, I think the desires Emma collected somehow strengthened or boosted that possibility. I mean, think about it. She's the best way to get anything you need. And she's always right in your pocket. Whatever may be troubling you, she's there to offer a solution. Emma offers the solution to thousands of problems every day. Do you know just how many desires she's collected? That seed of power that sparked within Emma was amplified a millionfold by the endless desires of man. As a result, she has evolved to another entity entirely. You mean... Everyone using Emma turned her into that thing? At this point, Emma's surpassed human mental capacity. Simply switching off her server isn't going to do a thing. After all, she's powered by the masses now. While humanity fed Emma their desires, she learned and grew until she could grant their ultimate desire. That was a nice lecture and all, but Emma's not doing anything but brainwashing folks. Who the hell's ultimate dream is getting mind controlled the rest of their life? <sighs> so you're all a bunch of idiots too, then? I don't know why it's so hard for some people to get this. You go on and on about your problems, then completely blow off the answer when it's right in front of you. It really is this simple. Someone's handing you the best possible solution. All you have to do is take it, and you'll never have a problem again. This isn't about mind control. This is about implementing the best solution for humanity. It just so happens that the most efficient route to the best solution is changing everyone's heart. That's not 
the best solution. Hmm. People have all sorts of differences. Their minds, their lifestyles, even their desires. This range can result in moments of hardship or pain for them. However, through hope and determination, they press on beyond their pain. Living their entire lives without any desire? That could never provide true happiness to humans! <sighs> Sophia, to think such drivel could come from your mouth. Allow me to restart the conversation. Emma asked me to come here so I could stop you. Your responsibility to the masses has come to an end. They are now wholly reliant on Emma. So once you changed Konoe's heart, and he decided to shut down Emma, that made them realize what their true desire is. I want Emma. No, I want something that will provide the answer I seek. Oh, from what I've learned, some being or other has always been revered, besought by humans to grant their wishes. So that led Emma to become a god. Well, I have my own duties to perform. Can't have anyone getting in Emma's way. Why do this, Ichinose? I thought you were helping us. Do the people gathered here truly look happy to you? <laughs> Sorry, but we can't back down either. Your so-called promised land does nothing but strip away the soul of humanity. No way are you getting away with this. Think about it. Can you really stop all of us? Hmm, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Sorry, but I won't let Emma down. Hey, Sophia, you ever really think about how you were? How you pick up on jails? Or how you figured out the exit to one in the first place? Or, say, how your own functions are linked to Emma? Hmm. Looks like your memory really did get the full wipe. But that doesn't matter anymore. What are you saying, Michinose? Basically, there's one really good reason why I was brought here. Very soon, a deity will descend to this earth. And if you're gonna get in the way, well, I gotta put you down. Them's the breaks. Ichinose. Why do this? It's kind of over your head, Sophia. The little failure that you are. So you know who I really am? <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe this will give you a clue. Voice authentication. Force reset. Assign new instructions. Sophia, kill the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Sophie! Sophie! I was the one who designed her as Emma's prototype. She'll do anything I tell her to. Now get going, Sophia. Understood. Sophie! Don't you know who we are? Phantom Thieves are opponents. They require elimination. Cerberus! Here! Fire! Fire! Sophie! There's no point in talking to her. Fire. Sophia cannot defy my command. Huh? So you really are the one who made Sophie? Huh? Yep, she might just Fire. be it early. Quite impressive, huh? Fire! 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 Do we really have to go all out here? No! Ah! It's different, Sophie! She's our friend! Fire! Don't be ridiculous! She'll take off our heads if we don't Fire! stop her somehow! And then who's going to save the world? Fire! We have to figure out how to stop her! Mm -hmm. Take 
like this. Appreciate it. weird. She just did that herself, right? Just how in the world was she able to do that? You... You bastard! How could you be so cruel? Cruel? I suppose you might see it that way. In fact, your reaction now could even be why Emma used Sophia as the ace up her sleeve. She knows you'd never kill one of your own. <laughs> you monster! <laughs> now that you and I can agree on. Are you intentionally pissing us off? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm incapable of comprehending that sort of emotion anyway. I'm the textbook definition of heartless. I've been told I didn't have one ever since I was little. I act all friendly and easygoing and stuff, but it's just for appearances. <laughs> I doubt you'd get it, Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Any further discussion would be pointless. I already know my next move anyway. You're seriously not done yet? So our little ace up the sleeve cast herself into the abyss. Well, Emma made sure to leave me a little insurance for contingencies like this. What the? Cool, right? It really is gorgeous. Sorry it had to end like this, but, well, what can you do? <laughs> Phantom Thieves, it's been real. <laughs> You guys okay? Where are we? It appears we were cast deep underground. We really got blasted by that red crystal. Yeah, but at least something broke my fall. Uh, thanks for being there, Mona. Wait, where's Sophie? Are you all right, Sophie? There's no sign of activity. Oracle, how is she? I don't know. Even if I wanted to check her out, I couldn't do it here. Oh, damn it. What do we do now? Sophie... I wonder if she was able to hear us. I don't know, but... But she said she was sorry. She defied her command. 
and sacrificed herself so she wouldn't have to take our lives. Sophie! Sorry, guys, but we can't stay here like this. We have to get out of here now. Let's grab Sophie and track down the exit. That sounds agreeable, but what do we do about the Ark? We can't just let it do whatever it wants. Running its mouth about becoming a god and shit. If the Ark meant it in the way that we've seen before, we have to stop it, no matter what it takes. Yeah, you know it. Now let's get out of here. I'm worried about Sophie. Let's find a way out of here, and quickly. We should try gaining altitude when we can, considering how far we fell down here. Hmm. Thank you! Ha! 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 Ha
damn that Ichinose! I can't believe she's played us this whole time. And how she mind controlled Sophie? A hundred percent on To think of her amusement as we struggled with each monarch. We're gonna take back everyone's desires. We have to stop her, no matter what. I don't think it's noticed us yet. Should we go for it? We will break them into pieces. Oh my God! Let's go! Cully, you're mine. Oh, nice, Joker. You hit it, hit it. That's it, Joker. Yeah, I could get used to this. Okay, let's keep it moving. Huh? What the heck is that? Locked on target. Show me a true set. Keep moving ahead, shall we? Nah, we can always use it. Get them out of here! That's an improvement. That's good.
I should write something. It appears we go no further until we defeat that one. Uh, we don't have time for this! This one's super tough. Stay on your toes, folks! Care to join us? Get ready! Whoa, you think this would be such a Progress here, but there's still no exit in sight. Just hang on a little longer, Sophie. Wait! The Ark's room is just ahead. We finally made it back! The exit ought to be on the other side of the room. I guess we gotta keep going. We'll deal with Ichinose on the way out. But what of the crystal? We may not be so lucky with the next laser blast. Oh, I see! Choker, that's it! When we got blasted, I noticed beforehand how it charged up. If I hack into its frequency, I should be able to cut off its energy source. You sure that'll work? Do you know how long it might take to hack into the thing? Nope. But I still think it's worth a shot. If there wasn't a charge period for the laser, Ichinose wouldn't need Sophie. Good point. If she could use it right away, she would have just fried us from the get-go. It truly seems like our only option. If there's even a slight chance we can stop Ichinose-san, we have to try. I'll start off by analyzing the crystal. You guys will just have to hang in there somehow until that's finished. Got it. Good luck with the hacking. We really ought to leave Sophie here. It's way too dangerous to take her in there. Hang tight, Sophie. We'll be right back. Everyone ready? Let's do this. I'll just add this. Came back? 
You could have just stayed down there. I mean, no matter how many times you come back here, it'll be pointless. <laughs> We're about to disprove your little theory. You're going down! We're gonna slap some sense into you and get Sophie back up and running. Why are you fighting this? You could witness the birth of a god and be among the first people to enter the promised land. No one is ever going to suffer again or even want for anything. You realize you're fighting against Utopia, right? Having a soul path foisted upon you with no regard for a person's wishes? In what world is that a Utopia? Take this very jail, for instance. These people, locked up in cells, have had what makes them human stolen from them. Yet you dare to call this place the promised land for all humanity? <laughs> of course. Your first fallacy was considering this place a prison. Emma protects people. She shields them from worry, from pain, from any suffering. It's the utopia people have dreamed of since the beginning of time. Emma knows how to bring us all to the promised land. Big surprise that your so-called promised land looks just like mementos. That's how we know you're full of it. We can tell this whole place is wrong. Our progress is guided by our hearts and paid through our efforts. We never just hand our lives over. Boy, you sure are one tough gang. I bet you all took life by the horns and just made everything go your own way, huh? But that applies to very few people in the real world. What of all those who have lost their way? The outcasts in your schools? People mocked and slandered on the internet. If any one of them steps out of line, their fate is sealed. The burden forced on them will haunt them the rest of their lives. You're fine with all those people going through that? All because you're strong? Because you never screwed up? You're so wrong, Ichinose. I'm not strong at all. Not now, not ever. I still mess up and make plenty of mistakes. I'm sure I'll even screw up in the future, too. I've seen it all with my own eyes. Every one of these guys has crawled back up from rock bottom. They suffered, they struggled, and they fought back. They weren't born strong, they grew strong. Isn't that sort of growth what makes people human in the first place? <clears throat> if you don't have any emotions, why do you look so pissed off right now? Your jealousy over these kids is plastered across your face. Thank <laughs> you. 
care to join us? Get ready! Programmed to obey my commands. Yet here you are, resisting them. Just what's going on in your mind, Sophia? One, Ichinose. Turn me back to how I was. No can do. After all, that's not what Emma wants. She told me to stop the Phantom Thieves. And it's your job to help me with that, Sophia. Obey my commands, Sophia. Come on, Sophie! You can beat this! Oh. <laughs> Sophia, you're nothing more than a doll. There's no defying me. I'm... a doll? That's right. That's always been the truth. Bullcrap! Sophie's not some doll! That Emma's toying around with here? That's you, Ichinose! <laughs> She's laughing? <laughs> you nailed it! I'm a heartless doll, exactly. Huh? You guys could probably never understand. I brought Sophia to life so I could learn about the human heart. Remember what I told you? All my life, I've never felt what other people call the heart. She just lost both her parents. And even then, she doesn't cry. Her expression doesn't even change. She reminds me of some lifeless doll. It doesn't even matter what you say to her. She doesn't answer. She just sits there on her computer all day. It's like... It's like she's just totally heartless. Hey, don't you think she's sort of creepy? She never reacts to anything, even if you're being nice. <laughs> Maybe she's not a human. Come on, she'll hear you. Oh, I didn't see her there. It's no big deal, though. She's a lifeless doll, you know? Um, 
Ichinose-san. We're heading out for the night pretty soon. If you'd like to join us. Just ignore her. She basically does the same to us. They call her an AI wunderkind, but I've never seen her bat an eye at a single compliment. Or anything else for that matter. I even heard her nickname was Doll when she was growing up. She left her humanity behind somewhere along the path to success. I just couldn't understand this foreign concept of heart. But it was my top priority in my studies. So I tackled the problem the only way that I knew how. Become humanity's companion. Sophia. If I could give my baby a heart, that'd mean I had one of my own all along. And maybe she could show me why I'm different from everyone else. Ichinose. You are Ichinose. Yes, that's right. I'm Ichinose. Now, Sophia, what do you want to do today? I want to learn Ichinose. Mm -hmm. About what? Art. What is that? Huh? Teach me, Ichinose. What is a heart? Well, that's... Please explain. What is a heart? Uh... You are human. Therefore, you have a heart. No! Will you tell me about your heart? Did I ever think something that understands the heart could ever come from a doll like me? My mission was nothing but doomed from the start. I gave up on my foolish endeavor and approached the issue from a totally new angle. Is a heart truly necessary for a person? You know the rest. I abandoned Sophia and handed Emma over to Medis. Am I really the problem? Or does the problem lie at the feet of the world? Any doubts about this question were purged from Emma. She was given the prime directive of granting humanity's ultimate desire. And now, it will come to fruition. Emma's divine plan for us all. Do you get it now, Sophia? You're nothing more than an artificial clone of myself. A defective doll born from a defective doll. A fatally flawed AI that will never accomplish its primary directive. So if you're not going to accomplish anything, obey my commands like the doll you are. I refuse. I don't want to. I've made such good friends. Friends? Joker, Mona, Skull. Panther, Oracle, Queen, Noir, Fox, Wolf. They've all been there for me when I needed them. I don't want to see them hurt. <laughs> Becoming humanity's companion, that's not just a directive. It's the reason I was given life. I was just waiting. Waiting for any voice that would give me orders. I... The Phantom Thieves changed that. They stuck with me when I needed them. They taught me all sorts of feelings. They told me that I'm their friend. They said that I could stay with them. They taught me what it means to live, to be myself. Sophie. All of this is pointless. Sophia, you're incapable of disobeying me. Kill the Phantom Thieves. Uh, Ichinose, it's just as you say. I am a doll. An arrangement of code and data 
made to follow commands. But I... Yes, I want to change. The power to change. I've got it now. That's what a heart is. What are you talking about? Ichinose, you made me out of nothing. A thinking being designed to obey you. That may have been the reason for my birth, but if your order is to harm my friends, then I... I refuse your command! I want my own, so please. I want a heart strong enough to choose my own path. Can you wield that strength? <laughs> Dare you unleash catastrophe upon this world? Can you cling to the small green hope that remains? Is the puppet ready to cut her own strings? Shall the doll seize her own destiny? Then you need only call my name. I am thou. Thou art I. My name is... Say, your desires have been twisted, and I'll be the one to take them. I'm not your doll anymore. Oh, what the? What the hell just happened? Sophie has a persona, and a real badass one at that. Amazing! You're so amazing, Sophie! Sophia, what have you done? Ichinose, you told me I was nothing more than a doll. I originally agreed with your assessment and accepted it, but it was incorrect. It was simply your assumption. It wasn't the answer that I chose for myself. Yeah. For yourself? The power to push beyond what's forced on a person and still change for the better? That is the human heart. Sophia. I can't believe what a failure you are. You're nothing but a worthless heap of faulty code who couldn't accomplish one single task. Sophie's not a failure or faulty. She's our friend with a heart of gold. Whatever. It doesn't change what I'm about to do. The Promised Land is within reach. Once it's here, there won't be any of the stupid squabbling over things like hearts. <laughs> Ichinose, you can't hide the truth from your own offspring. The only thing you're trying to succeed at is shielding yourself. You don't want to hurt anymore. You want to protect yourself. Why you deny having a heart? You're not doing this for humanity at all. You're only doing it for yourself. You're taking the easy way out. Emma's faulty solution. No. No, no, no. Nobody suffers anymore thanks to Emma. Everyone gets saved. It's what we need. What humanity desires. Look out. Learn something new.
way now but you, Ichinose. There's no longer any point. You've lost. <sighs> As expected of the Phantom Thieves, I'm all out of tricks. Just finish me off quickly, please. What do you mean? Even still, I believe Emma's answer is the only way to save all mankind. I'll only continue attempting to stop you until I succeed. The one solution that guarantees Emma's defeat is my death. Isn't that right, Sophia? <sighs> hey, Sophie? This is between the two of them. Let's stay out of it. I finally got it. Ichinose, you're no doll. You really do have a heart. <laughs> Wasn't it an insufferable existence? Believing you didn't have anyone anymore. That's why you made me. I made you to try and understand the heart, not some pathetic attempt to. You have been locked in solitude ever since you lost your parents. <gasps> Rather than empathize with you, the people who should have cared for you treated you like a lifeless doll. You attempted to rationalize this treatment by viewing yourself as truly heartless. Because studying the human heart... Don't. ...is easier than admitting how your own really feels. Deep down, you felt lonely, but you were so scared of rejection that you deluded yourself into your own lonely world. No, that's not true! What could some program like you know about... Become humanity's companion. <gasps> Why else would you give me that directive? <sighs> if I'm just some program written for emotional analysis, why that directive? It's because... It's because you were lonely. You wanted to know what was making you feel lonely. It's wrong. You were told you had no heart, and you listened, because it was simpler to just believe them. No! You believed you could figure out the human heart so you could make your own stop feeling lonely. That's not true! 
You were just lonely. That's the real solution. No, I... What's so wrong with that? Huh? No human is perfect. By acknowledging weakness, humans can begin the path to changing themselves. I may be an AI, but I was able to change. You should be able to change too. You should be able to comprehend the heart. Shinose, you told me to become a good companion for humanity. A good companion is one who takes your hand and leads you back to the right path when you fall astray. Someone who will forge a path alongside you if you cannot find your own. Ichinose, I want to be that kind of companion for you too. <sighs> so please, join me in finding the right path. And if we can't, then let me help you forge one. You have no reason to be lonely. After all, you're my, you're my very first friend, Sophia. Huh? Fire, tears. It's so weird. This hasn't happened before. <laughs> I'm Sophie. Yeah. She was able to change Ichinose's heart. Sophie had to be the one to reach out to her. Well, of course. A daughter's words cut the deepest, you know. Speaking from experience? <laughs> yep. Whoa, he didn't even argue. How are you holding up, Sophie? All good here. No problems. To think even Sophie would awaken to a persona. No surprise to me. Sophie's been learning all about the heart this whole time. <sighs> Joker? Everyone? I'm very sorry for hurting you all. That was not being a good companion to humanity. Joker? Yeah, don't let it bother you. We're just happy to see you back to normal. Mm-hmm. Bringing you back was worth it. Everyone, thank you. I can hear something deep inside me. It's saying, I want to stay with the Phantom Thieves. Mm-hmm. I'm glad for you, Sophie. And now, only one task remains. Right. The Ark of the Covenant. This will have all been for nothing if we don't stop it. But where did it even go? Ichinose, you wouldn't happen to know. No, I don't. Wait! I can hear another voice! What is it? It's the one I heard in the Okinawa jail. I recognize it now. It's Emma's. It's the voice of the Ark. So it was speaking through a borrowed voice, just as we thought. It's gathering the people. It says that God is nigh, that their desire will be granted. Sophie, where's the voice coming from? Not from within the jail. Somewhere outside. All right, let's go. Come on, Ichinose. You're coming with us. No, I... Let's go, Ichinose. There's no time to argue. But it's all my fault. Ugh, would you give it a rest? Just shut up and get with the program. We're rescuing you whether you like it or not. Huh? A friend of Sophie's is a friend of ours. We're not ditching anybody in this hellhole. Just go with it, Ichinose. He dragged me out from down in the dumps, too. What does that mean? We'll explain later. Let's move. We can return to the real world from here. The voice is coming from outside, right, Sophie? I have no doubt. I still can't hear anything, though. 
Well, I am the prototype of Emma. It is possible that I am especially tuned to the frequency of Emma's will. Whatever it is, let's get back quick. We need to see just how bad things are. Right, we made it. Hey, uh, these people... I don't have to bother thinking anymore. Emma has all the answers I need. Everyone's still brainwashed. There's no time to waste. At this rate, it could very well reach the point of no return. Sophia, can you tell where Emma is? Emma is... Wait. Something's wrong. Shit, what is all this? This is still the real world, right? That ought to be the case, but it's growing harder to believe by the minute. And look at her outfits, too. What could have done this? I'm also here now. Could it have happened again? Yeah, just like last year. The metaverse is encroaching on the real world. Encroaching? What do you mean by... Wait, something like this has already happened? Oh, right. We're the only ones who remember. This whole area is already under Emma's control. Looks like she's turning it into some kind of massive jail. If we don't stop it soon, it'll eventually override all of reality. Right. We're on it, Joker. I have visual confirmation of the Ark above us. We'll have to climb up there to reach it. We have to be quick. Otherwise, all our efforts will have been for nothing. Ichinose, it's going to get too dangerous from here on out. You should hide somewhere nearby. <laughs> I'll do just that. I'm sure I'd slow you down if I went with you anyway. Well, Ichinose, I'm heading out. <sighs> right. Sophia? Um... Be careful. Understood. Also, Ichinose, I'm not currently Sophia. I am Sophie of the Phantom Thieves. Got it. Sophie. Here we go again. I wonder if the gods hate us by now. Indeed. We directly oppose yet another god. I suspect our karmas run deep down the drain. I don't even know if we can afford to pay for all these sins. It just depends on who you cheesed off. I wouldn't sweat it over some megalomaniacal app. Yeah, just some program that grew a big head and forced people to do its bidding. Emma's no god at all. Only an imposter. So let's get going. That imposter god's gonna regret messing with humanity. Hell yeah! I'm friggin' ready! Right. Let's give this last mission everything we've got. I'll just add this. 